What's up guys? I posted on Google Plus yesterday what my next video should be, which is this one, and you guys want to know what I want to see in the next Nexus device and also for the software side on Keyline Pi. So let's get started. The very first thing I want to talk about is software. Google, pay attention, cloud backup, number one on the list. If Keyline Pi doesn't have this, I'm telling you guys, you're going behind. Cloud backup. I don't know if you guys remember when Google had their commercial on their Google Chromebook, there was a guy typing away on his spreadsheet all of a sudden, bam, they crush his notebook. And then, then they give him a brand new one and all of his stuff was restored. Actually, it was there where he had left off. Google, we need to have a device. Pay attention, this would be a great commercial. You, got, you have a guy camping, he's working on a spreadsheet or something, or he's doing something on his phone, all of a sudden he breaks it. He goes to the store, get, grabs a new phone, everything is there, all his games, all of his backups, all of his data, everything is synced to your Google Drive. How, how come that doesn't work like that? It should work like that. Apple has their iCloud back, I mean it works great. You are way behind Google on this and this should be your number one thing on your priority list. I want to be able to grab a device and have everything sync automatically. I want to be able to switch out a ROM and have everything sync automatically without me having to do a full restore. It is a pain in the butt. Next thing on my list would be a multi-user login. I think that is very important. I have a daughter who I let, let her use my tablet and the other day she loaded Chase and started messing with the password and stuff. Needless to say, she locked me out of my own banking account, which was a pain. I had to call, I had to give them everything, and even then it was just a pain. So if I had a user login for her and just have educational stuff for her, it would be great. So I believe multi-user login would be awesome. The next thing would be a better voice control. I want to be able to tell my phone or device, turn Wi-Fi on, turn 4G on and off. I want to be able to do such things like load an app. I want load Instagram, load Google+. That would be a really, really good feature to have on your voice feature and I think more people would start using it more and feel comfortable um, because it would be something more automated than having to go and do it yourself. The next thing I would like is a more unified widget system. Take a look at Launcher, uh, excuse me, Chameleon Launcher. Um, if you guys are not familiar with it, I'm going to post a video right now so you guys can see. Chameleon Launcher takes some of the best applications like YouTube, Google+, Facebook, Twitter, and it allows you to create widgets, but since Chameleon Launcher is behind this whole operation, the widgets look gorgeous and beautiful. I understand that Google is not in the business of Facebook and, Google and, and Twitter, but if they created a widget system where it would be more of the flavor of vanilla, I think that we would have beautiful themes. I think it would be more optimized for battery because we don't know how. We know that Facebook, they, their apps are not optimized in our garbage. So if Google took more control of this, we would have less resources taken up by the phone, which means equals better battery life. I also want more device management security. I know there's many apps out there. As a matter of fact, I use uh, uh, several of them, but I want to be able to find my phone. I want to be able to wipe the data if, if somebody takes it. I want this to be integrated part of the Google or Android ecosystem. It would be something great to see in the next uh, release of uh, Keyline Pi. The next thing I'd like to see is if I connect my phone to my computer, that Chrome OS loads on my computer. That's right, Chrome OS. I think that this would also boost the Chrome OS uh, real, uh, or excuse me, stock per se and uh, people would start looking into using more Chrome OS books whether that's something dead or not but I think that they've spent a lot of time and money uh, doing this operating system why not automatically have it load when you connect your phone or your tablet to your computer that would be a really nice user experience. Um, the next thing I'd like to see and this is a minor thing I would like to have different backgrounds for different home screens. I know that if you saw my video, how to theme your Android phone like a mega boss, I'll post that link up here or down below in the description. I've used a technique where you can use, and I'm sure many others have used it, where you can use different wallpapers. Chameleon Launcher does that too. It allows you to have different wallpapers. I think that's something great. It also allows themers out there to do things like that mega boss video that I did. It would it would open up doors for everybody. Not only that, once again, if Google takes control of the ecosystem, resource, excuse me, Android resources would go down. Less RAM usage, more battery life. If we start using apps and widgets from everybody else, it just starts decreasing battery life and the phone starts to lag. 
The next thing I'd like to see is profiles. Um, actually, what you guys should do is just buy out um, a Tasker. Tasker is an amazing application. For those of you who don't know what Tasker is, take a look at my beginner's guide on Tasker. I've also left that link in the description below, or you can click up here if you're on your computer so you can watch that Tasker series. I did a beginner's guide. Of course, we don't need it to be that complicated, but maybe profiles for the day, night, or like, you know, when you go home or you go to the office, turn Wi Fi on and off. All this autom automation would be great. Um, this next one's probably far-fetched and it's probably never going to happen, but a multi-ROM boot. What I mean by that is when you turn your phone on and if you have multiple ROMs lo loaded, you could, for example, I'm feeling like CyanogenMod Mod today, boom, load that, ROM, load that ROM and all of your data is there, all everything. If we use the cloud backup, then uh, we have no problem with having a multi-ROM uh, uh, boot. So that would be my software, software side. I think that if we can have all those features, that would be great. If you don't agree, let me know. If, you, if I left something out, leave your comments down below. Now let's talk about hardware. What do I want to see hardware side? I'm tired of plastic phones. Samsung, pay attention. HTC, pay attention. Motorola, you're some, so, some sort of, or excuse me, sort of paying attention. Um, guys, I like metal. People like metal. Metal phones are beautiful. Apple does a great job with hardware. Whether you believe the 4-inch display now on the iPhone 5 is too, still too small or it's too tall, doesn't matter. They pay attention to detail. Look at the fine details of the iPhone 5. It is gorgeous and I am jealous on the hardware side. Not so much on the software, but on the hardware side I am jealous. Guys, make something that we're proud to hold. I want to be able to look at a phone and say, this has a timeless design. I can have this phone three years later and it's still going to look great. And part of that timeless design is it has to have hardware to back it up where it could last several years. Um, a phone that has quad-core. Before you guys say, there's no apps that are optimized for quad-core. It doesn't matter. We are future-proofing this device. Quad-core Exynos processor. Don't use NVIDIA. Nothing against you guys, NVIDIA. I like you guys a lot. I have a lot of NVIDIA products, but I, I believe Exynos is a lot better. Anyway, that's a whole different battle. Um, Super AMOLED Display Plus, excuse me, Super AMOLED HD Plus with Gorilla Glass. Yes, I want to be able to rub my keys and not scratch the phone. That would be awesome. Uh, by the way, going back to the whole hardware and metal, I don't know, Samsung, you guys did this notebook because I actually bought it. It has a Dura Lumen, I think that's what you guys call it, which is an aircraft space material. I mean, you guys have to innovate like that. Be, be creative. Use something. It doesn't have to be made out of... Um, aluminum or something. You, you make it out of titanium. I know it's expensive, but just do something out of the box. Two gigs of RAM, by bare minimum, two gigs of RAM. RAM is huge, especially nowadays that we're, you know, we have more things loaded on our home screens. We need the RAM. 32 gigabytes of storage at the bare minimum with expandable storage using a micro SD card. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see a great camera. Not so don't care too much about megapixels, I mean something decent, but I'd rather have a great camera that shoots great pictures at low level, 5 megapixels, versus one that's 10 megapixels and does a crappy job. So, because we have our camera, or excuse me, because we have our phones and we carry them everywhere with us, we need to have a great camera. I'd like to see an ample battery that lasts the whole entire day, whether that's 2500 milliamp, 3000 milliamp, it doesn't matter. I'd like to, I'd like for it to last the whole entire day without dying. And I don't mean on standby, I mean on moderate to heavy use. And guys, the, that would be my wish list for the next Nexus device on the software and hardware side. Um, another thing, side note, if Google could take more control of the operating system by not allowing vendors like Samsung, HTC, Motorola put their Sense, Motor Blur, I think that would be great. What they should do is, and hear me out, I think Samsung, HTC, all of them, I think you guys should offer it as a launcher. It's okay if you install it on your phone, but let us uninstall TouchWiz if we don't want to. If we want pure vanilla, let us do it. And I think Google should make it more mandatory. Not only that, I think it would be great for somebody like myself. Let's say I like Sense and I don't have a HTC phone, but I have a Samsung phone that I'd like to put Sense. If Sense offered it in their marketplace to download HTC Sense, and I, if, let's just say I like it and I want to put it on my Samsung device, that would be great. It would have more people uh, using it versus people 
being pissed off because it was mandatory to use it on their phone. I think if, if Google sort of took more control of that, there would be less fragmentation and everybody would be more happier having more control of their device. Um, there are other things that I'd like to see, but there are more annoyances and bugs that Android has. I think I'll just create a video about 10 things I hate about Android and do that. Uh, I don't want to take too much of your time, but let me, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think that um, that wishlist sucked. Let me know if you think I should go work for Google and take control. If you think that's the case, why don't you just send this video to Vic Gondotra and all the people at Google and let them know, you know, we'll change, we ch we'll change Android around. Anyhow, guys, that was just a joke. Anyhow, guys, um, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I've left that link below on Google+. Uh, I will continue to make videos for you guys. You guys decide what videos I should do. This is your channel. This is not my channel. Anyhow, thanks again. Um, leave your comments below. I want to know what you guys think of maybe I missed something. Maybe there was something awesome that I didn't see. Thanks again. Adios.